Okay, let's uh, look at this indicator here, which is volume weighted average price bands N. N standing for N days, in other words, where N would represent the number of days that you want to look back and construct a continuous volume weighted average price. Uh, on this chart, we're looking at an ES uh, contract set to regular trading hours or cash session. And um, of course, you could use this indicator on any futures, any stock, etc., things like that. Now, the difference between this indicator compared to a traditional volume weighted average price, which begins at the beginning of the intraday session right, and ends at the end, obviously. So, and it would reset again the next day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, as you guys know, uh, those of you familiar with these type of indicators, they're usually used um, intraday. Um, they're not plotted on daily or monthly charts, etc., like that, anything like that. Um, so this video, I just want to go over the inputs and uh, show you how to create your custom volume weighted average price. It's fairly simple. Uh, we're going to look at it on a cash session chart like this because the difference is that the cash session, the date change also represents the session change. Uh, but if you set this chart to a regular session, then you will get a date change in between the session. In other words, the date change would be after the beginning or the start time of the session. And you would get a date change and then the end of the session, etc. I'll, sw I'll switch to a chart like that and show you what I mean. Now, let's just focus on this. This is being the cash session. So what you would do is you would decide how many days you want your volume weighted average price to look back. So let's go to inputs. Uh, prior to doing that, let me show you that uh, these numbers here, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, represent the number of deviations that you could set for your bands. Uh, and these false properties here would be your SD1, SD2, SD3, which are the bands above, and SD1, 2, 3, below the volume weighted average price. These would be bands if you want to have the bands turned on, it, and you can control which ones you would plot if you want to have two, one, or three, all three showing. And the number of days, this is the important uh, input here, the number of days, which currently is set to one, but we can switch that to a two day since let's assume that we've decided we want to look at a continuous two-day plot okay and just give it a couple of seconds to calculate and here we go so we start it began calculating here and it continued and did, did not reset at the session change and it's continuing to calculate and this session has not completed yet so that's as simple as it gets Okay, so you could change this input to number of days that you want to look back. You can go back as many days as you'd like. Now here is the same instrument on a regular session. In other words, I'm on the Eastern Standard Time, so on the East Coast, and it's a five minute chart, so this first bar would complete at 1635, meaning that the session started at 1630 and the last bar would complete at 16.15. So with the index futures, you have 15 minute of no activity. Now, if we go look at the number of days, you see that this is set to two days. However, the indicator began or reset at this change, at the session change, and we haven't had two days yet, so that's not quite a two-day profile. S excuse me, a two-day uh, volume weighted average price construction. The reason for it is because you have a date change in between the session. Now the indicator will not reset at the date change so you don't have to worry about that but it is counting days back and it will conclude this as one day and since we had a date change this as two days and that's the reason for it. So what you want to do is when you're using regular session charts and the symbol that you're using has a date change in between the session then you would need to add one additional day to that. So if you need a two-day construction, then add one, which would give you three, enter three, click OK, and OK. So if we zoom in here, you will see that it began calculating here. Now, 
this is set to red and this bar is red also so that's why you can't see it but it stopped there and began calculating here again and this is your continuous two-day plot and as you can see we're testing the volume weighted the two-day average the two-day volume weighted average price and we tested it bounced off of it and we're holding again so uh, and that's what some people use this indicator as is simply support and resistance but there's more uses for it so that's how you would set your volume weighted average price on a chart on a symbol that has a date change in between the sessions particularly a regular session chart or a continuous regular session chart now here's a regular session this is actually a cash session or regular trading hours and I'm showing you the bands which this the first and the second standard deviation bands didn't sh didn't plot the third one but you could do that as well and that's pretty much simple as you can see the indicator is very simple to uh, construct so let's set this up to something that I like to do personally is to have I do like the two-day construction I also like to do custom discretionary so plots for example if I see a move down a sharp move down like this I'd like to start one that would calculate that entire move um, it really doesn't matter if it's two day three day if I see something like that I'd like to set one up like that another thing that I like to do that is to create a rolling two week uh, in other words this is a Monday here and so you have Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and then you have Monday Tuesday Wednesday okay and Thursday has not completed yet we don't have two weeks yet but what I mean by rolling two weeks is that I would like to set it up to con to calculate two weeks even if the two weeks isn't finished yet so, or completed yet I should say so I'm gonna choose 11 and I'll show you the reason for choosing 11 because what you would need to do is to calculate the weekends too since we're, this indicator looks at dates so you have the two days of weekend where the market isn't open so particularly on a regular session chart it's, uh, not a regular session chart what I meant the cash session chart so you have one we have one two three four days five six seven eight nine days and two days weekend that gives you eleven and that's the reason why I entered eleven so this is a two uh, this is going to complete once a once two two weeks of trading have concluded or in other words ten days of trading have concluded and it works pretty well you can see we had this down move and then we consolidated and we gapped above the volume weighted average price once we did that um, if you're a swing trader you're looking for tests of this volume weighted average price and as you can see it held nicely um, there were several places where you could have entered here's one of them and if things go your way then you would be looking for your pro to fill this gap and also test these highs so you, this would be one of your profit targets another one would be down here um, that's pretty much it and as you can see it's fairly easy to use this to set this indicator up hope that answers your questions if you guys do have additional questions just send us an email thanks for